He's an entrepreneur with his eyes set on Washington, hoping to flip Ted Deutsch's vacated congressional seat. But before representing District 23, Joe Budd needs to win in the general election come November. Here's my one on one with the Republican candidate. Joe, thank you so much for joining us here on NBC6 Impact. My pleasure, Jackie. Thank you for having me today. So you made it through the primary for what was the 22nd congressional district, but has changed to the 23rd after redistricting. And you defeated six other candidates to win the Republican nomination for the district. Now you are moving toward the general election for the seat vacated by Congressman Ted Deutsch. Many people don't know much about you. You're a board member of the Republican Party of Florida. So first, tell us why you believe you can represent the people of District 23. Well, this is now my seventh campaign, and I've won three in a row. Uh, I was elected in 2016 as the Palm Beach County State Committeeman, de defeating a popular three-term incumbent a race, of which many of the races which I've won, I was considered an underdog and not expected to win, but we've always seemed to outperform expectations. And as you might remember, I was the first guy who took on uh, Ted Deutsch in a general election back in 2010. Uh, outperforming what was the Cook political report at the time, called it a D plus 26, meaning the Democrats had a 26 percent advantage. And I outperformed that number. Now it's a D5, and I'm hoping to outperform that number again to win this race. You mentioned Congressman Ted Deutsch, and this is an open seat now. Uh, the current congressman is a Democrat. What makes you think that you can turn this around and turn the seat red? Well, as you said, the, the numbers of the district changed. There's been a complete redistricting done, and uh, this seat is really half of the Ted Deutsch uh, seat, and it's also half of the former Allen West seat. Uh, the demographics have changed. Uh, as I said, uh, when I ran it, the Democrats had a 26 percent advantage. That's down to five, and it's a winnable seat in this environment. How important is affordable housing as part of your platform running for Congress? I think that's very important, especially the Broward County portion of this district. Housing is a real crisis. I mean, rents are skyrocketing up more than 25 percent in the last year. And uh, it's getting harder and harder for a blue collar person to find affordable housing in our district. And we can form uh, public private partnerships in order to get those things done. Do you believe the Inflation Reduction Act will help the American people? I absolutely do not think that that's going to help. Anytime you throw all kinds of money out like they want to do, uh, that just causes inflation. That won't reduce inflation whatsoever. I'll tell you what will reduce inflation. We need to get back to being energy independent. And that in one swift item that we can do, I mean, they just found even more gas and oil in the Wyoming area. We have the world's largest reserves. We don't just need energy independence, but we need energy dominance. Just this, just saying we're going to do it would tremendously lower uh, oil prices. And that's a big impact on inflation right now. You founded Club 45 USA. What compelled you to organize and found this organization? Well, there was a particular statistic that came out of the 2018 or 2016 presidential preference primary in Palm Beach County. We had a Trump won Palm Beach County in that presidential preference primary, 52 percent of the vote. But there was a 52 percent greater turnout as well. I wanted to keep these people involved. These were just average blue collar people. And it's funny, when we started that club, I had this gentleman, he was near 50 years old, come up to me, says, I'm glad you started this club. You know, President Trump inspired me to vote for the first time. But not only me, my father, who was almost 80 years old, voted for the very first time. That's what this gentleman told me. And it, it just said I did the right thing. Do you believe that if he were to run again for the 2024 presidential election, that he could win? Oh, he absolutely would win if he ran again. And you would support him? I certainly would. Yes, absolutely. I love this win. principle. I love, I love, I love the the things that he got done as president. There's no doubt his policies were awesome. If you win the seat, what issue would you focus on head on from the very beginning? Well, I think head on is energy independence. That's the one thing that I would go after right away. I mean, we're foolishness. I, I hear the Democrats say that climate change is the greatest threat to humanity. And that in and of itself is why they want to kill the fossil fuel industry. And that's just wrongheaded. We have spent five and a half trillion dollars as a nation over the last 20 years trying to eliminate the fossil fuel industry. And all we've done in the last 
20 years is waste, five and a half trillion dollars. We were 86% of our energy 20 years ago was derived from fossil fuels. That number's moved down to 84%. They hardly moved the needle, but found a way to spend taxpayer dollars at the tune of $5.5 trillion. That's a scam on the American people. Well, we're just weeks away from the general election. We wish you good luck. Thank you very much, Jackie. Appreciate it. And I thank you for having me on today.